There we go. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the First Bank Sealand Show here at the St. Louis Zoo. My name is Kyle. I will be your narrator here this morning. But of course, the stars of the show are right over here. We'll start off with some introductions in the pink right there. That is Valerie. Val is your trainer there this morning. And also giving you a big wave. Hello. That is Dixie Sea Lion. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Dixie. Dixie is a four-year-old female California sea lion. She's been doing shows with us now for uh, a few years here at Sea Lion Sound, and she is doing a fantastic job. Now, throughout the presentation this morning, if you're listening closely, yeah, she likes to give herself a hand too, that is for sure. If you are living, listening closely, you might hear some whistles coming from Val, okay? Those whistles are part of our training process. We utilize positive reinforcement training to work with all of the animals here at the zoo, not just the animals here at Sea Lion Sound, but uh, the entire zoo. We do lots and lots of training with all the animals. And that whistle is a signal to the animal to let them know that they did the correct behavior, great job, and something positive is on the way. Uh, the positive reinforcement that they do get, you're going to see lots of things, but we do constantly talk to the animals, we praise them. <laughs> Val's using a target pole there to kind of get uh, Dixie's focus as she works on her flipper presents with her. So you'll see lots of interaction between trainer and animal. It is a give and take relationship. We are working together for a common goal. Uh, but something you're all gonna notice as well as we go through the show is you're gonna see lots and lots of fish flying through the air, okay? That's because the animals do receive the majority of their daily diets right out here on stage during our shows, during our training sessions. And their food is part of that training process. That's what we call their primary reading. It is their yummy, delicious diet. And Val's on our way out now, bringing Dixie a little bit closer to you because for the next few minutes, we're going to kind of go over and talk a little bit about training and about diets. But to do that, Val has a very challenging task ahead of her. She needs to pick out a brave volunteer to help her work with Dixie here this morning. See lots and lots of hands go up. This is always the hardest part. Lots of happy faces. Looks like she has made her choice. Alright, look at that. She's even taking her sunglasses off to get serious. Alright. She is focused as she makes your way down. Watch your step. Now, before we get started, we have to make sure that you pass our job interview. Can you touch fish? No? This is part of the job. You have to touch fish. That's what they eat. Let's see. Alright, she's got it. Look at that. Alright, she has passed the, on the job training right there. Okay, that works. We have a fish toucher, so we're going to move ahead here. Tell you what, we're going to start off with a simple behavior. We're going to see if we can have our great volunteer go ahead and wave to Dixie. See if we can get Dixie to go ahead and just wave right back. Alright, see a nice simple wave. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Nice job. Now you heard Val whistle. That signal to Dixie, great job. And now our volunteer will supply the reinforcement with a little tiny fish to get things started. We're going to start off with a little tiny one called Caitlin. Caitlin is a low calorie, low fat fish, and the animals do get quite a bit of in their diet. Kind of like sea lion and carrot sticks this time of year. As it starts to warm up, they get lots and lots of cake. Alright, excellent job. Now we're going to try a little bit of sea lion yoga. Alright, we're going to see if we can get put Dixie in her down sea lion position with her yoga. This is a, a pretty cool behavior. It looks, it's also kind of painful to watch if you're not flexible like myself. But we're going to have our volunteer go ahead and give her a cue here right after Dixie takes her nice, relaxing lap. Alright, she is ready, she is focused. And try that yoga pose. There it is. Excellent job. That happened real fast, but yes. Dixie, lean back. She placed her nose right in the center of her back. And if you have extremely flexible necks, uh, to maneuver through the water. So that was excellent. We're supplying some more primary reinforcement, this time in the form of pieces of herring. Herring is a larger fish. Uh, it does have more fat and calories in it that we do cut up for our younger animals. She needs quite a 
lovely fish heads are volunteering out a little grossed out. That's okay. When the food you're throwing is staring back at you, it's okay. All right, excellent job. We're doing great. All right, so the next one. I see that. All right, we are two for two on our behaviors. All right, we're going to try one more here. We're going to try another mimic behavior. We're going to see if our volunteer can go ahead and just go ahead and turn in the circle and do a nice spin for us in place. We're going to see if Dixie can follow along. Let's try to get set. As she's done. Personalities, that is for sure. They see she's always all about the business. All right, so let's see. Our volunteer is doing a nice spin. Dixie's got to focus on her volunteer, not now, Dix. What's she doing? Yeah. All right, that's what we're looking for. But this is kind of a newer behavior too to have someone else do it. So we're gonna have the volunteer do the cue. And Dixie does her nice lap. That's Dixie's timer going off. She says, "Look, I was here. I was ready. You didn't ask me to do anything, so now I'm gonna take a lap." And that's okay. We're always on the animal's time. That is for sure when you're working with animals. All right, we're back. We're getting the focus. There we go. We will try this cue one right. more time so we can get her to do it. Right. She's nice and limber. She's warmed up. She's ready. All right, go for that spin. All right, nice big circle. Other way. Here you go. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> nice job. All right. Now, our volunteer is a little bit busy. That's all right. She's going to do some more reinforcing because Dixie did a great job. So does our volunteer. I'll tell you what. We're all about positive reinforcement here. So we're going to give Dixie her favorite food for doing a great job. It's what we call sea lion dessert here at the show. Anybody know what that might be? Octopus. Octopus. How about a cousin of the octopus a delicious squid? That sea lion dessert right there. And look how quickly our brave volunteer is reaching for the squid. Come on, you got to do it. It's part of the deal. Dixie's waiting patiently for her Oh, so gross. Oh. 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 Don't worry, I can't you. She's got it. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. Nice job. Good way to go. Good job, Dixie. Great job to our volunteer. Now we have some party gifts yeah, for you for helping us out. We're getting crispy from our friends at First Bank. And then the best thing ever, a deluxe voice talent to clean your hands off. Okay, how about a hand for our volunteer, everybody? Nice job. She was very brave. That's all. Yes, this is it. Way to go. Excellent job. Now, this morning, right now, we want you guys to all know and understand that you are at a sea lion show. Okay? You are not at a seal show. Seals and sea lions are related. They both belong uh, in the same group of animals called pinnipeds, or what we call thin-footed mammals. However, they look and do things a little bit differently. And I believe now Val is going to have Dixie do a pretty challenging impression for all of you guys, all right? That's one of Dixie's jobs here is doing impressions, and she has one for you. But we want to see if we can see her very excellent seal impression that she's been working on. It is pretty tough, though. We'll see if she can get it. And she, she gets it. She's, there it is. All right. Good job, Nix. She lays flat on the ground. And that's exactly what a seal looks like when we're out of the water. You will see seals laying flat on their stomachs. And when they move on land, seals do have to stick along on those bellies, kind of like an inchworm or a caterpillar. It takes them much longer to get where they're going as compared to sea lions because they lack what sea lions have, which are the large front flippers to get their upper bodies off the ground. They're very muscular, they are talented, they can get around on land just as easily as they can move in the water, utilizing the big front flippers to get their upper bodies off the ground. Also, as Val comes a little bit closer with Dixie, if you take a look at her rear flippers, you'll notice they're rotated underneath her body, so it's like she's walking on all fours. This is very easy for Dixie to do this because she is a sea lion. She's just utilizing her adaptations that she has 
to help her get around along the rocky shores of the west coast where you can find these animals. She'll even show you how easy it is to climb up the rocks right here in the middle. Here at Sea Lion Sound, we like to bring people and animals very close together. Sometimes so close to the sea, you can even smell their fish breath.